for the omelets. So it's your choice what food we can use. Okay. But my suggestion is fajol. What's that? Ooh, it smells so good. Yeah. Have you ever had it? No, I don't think so. Me neither. Well, I had it in like ice cream form. Stuff, What's the texture for, like? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Two ninety nine each. Two, three, four, six. Yeah. Eight maybe, just in case. It smells like. Oh, it's just messy. So we're not gonna make the entire sauce here, we're just gonna blitz it up and package it and make the rest at home. Lime juice, a bit of sugar. Lots of lime. Mm, okay. Mine's gonna look like that. Smushed. Grams of strawberry plumbers. During COVID, Ben and Daniel decided that it would be a great idea to buy half a cow and just store it in their house. Oh, they're like, oh, where are we gonna store it? So they bought a chest freezer. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? This is what happens when two men live together. So they just ate beef every day straight for like, I don't know, like many months. But I guess it's come in handy. Chef's hack. Peter Gilmore, if you're watching this, help me out. How do I deal with liquid lotus? <laughs> I don't know. I think I have to microwave it, but I just don't know how long to microwave it for. Can't okay, yeah. so 100 grams of custard sugar. Whoa. Underwhelming. <laughs> As fast as I can, just scroll into this bag. I have to do it as hot because this thing solidifies instantly, you see? Wow. Wow, that is very interesting. Yeah, very annoying. Lift it into the shape and then, bl and then bake it. Oh my god. I don't want to get this everywhere because it's really sticky. And if I get on the table, that's going to be really annoying. Wow. And then somehow, oh shit. I, I apologize to the world. I'm working on a dirty mold. back here in literally like seven years and it's popping there's a lot of people 
So I'm here to buy kingfish. premium butter. Yeah, we're 10 kilos of butter here. Oh my goodness. We'll just, just grab on this for now. Okay. Oh, that's good. We're just going to paste the cabbage right now and some butter. Although we don't have a proper way of drying this. Wow. First thing in the sauce is spring onions. Then we're just going to chop some cilantro. Roughly chop. And that's going to go. Well, it's going to be like a pervy, creamy, chili, vinegary sauce. So that, we have the ginger garlic that I measured around. So some of that goes in. Quite a bit actually, I reckon. Then, let's check on the cabbage first. Oil. Let's let that go. Then we have some numbingness into the sauce, so we gotta add some of our toasted toasted peppercorns. Ooh. Straight into this. Seasoning to it, so a bit of premium soy sauce, a bit of soy sauce, then a bit more. Got a decent amount of vinegar, I'd say. I'm gonna add a bit of this chili, chili flakes. Some dashi reduction, actually, so from again no no objects. Very very strong, very umami. Probably not too much. Then we're gonna add some chili crisp oil, which I bought actually as well, which is in the fridge. Ooh. So I should add a bit of this. Not long, and much? No, I, I mean, I, this was the only one that was there. So I'm just gonna add. Are you sure I don't have any? Yeah, just add a bit of that. I'm pretty sure I don't have to go that much. Uh, no, you don't. Yeah. So 
pretty long. Don't do that! Stop! So I'm just preparing some of the stuff for the first course. Well, I mean, first and second thing are going to come together. Um, but there's some just Ooh. basil. And sliced kefir lime leaves and like a little bit of chili. Yeah. Chili's a little thick. Not sliced perfectly, but whatever. It's nice. I have some grapefruit on top. So you cut it until you just see this, the uh, that. And you lay it flat and you slice around it. Yeah, just like that. Just following the uh, white. But you need a very sharp knife to do this. My knife is not sharp enough. If your knife skills are good enough. So we're doing a bit of prep for the next one. Yes. Da -da -da. Whoa! It's tomatoes. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm just making a little one. Wash it, wash it. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm just gonna make a little vinaigrette for one of the dishes. So it has some wild rose vinegar. Crazy. Then we're just gonna whisk in. Up to this whisk. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't whisk it, mm -hmm. it's just gonna end up with a layer of oil on top and vinegar on the bottom. Mm. So if you want to emulsify it, you have to whisk it quite thoroughly. Still smells like apple cider vinegar though. <laughs> just wait till you taste it. You better not say it's apple cider vinegar. <laughs> How much is that bottle? No, don't, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> Just say I spent a lot of money on three bottles. Yeah, baby sucks. Oh, that's so
Tamara eats first.
This looks legit. This looks legit. Come on, bit of hard work. What's in the gordita? Uh, sugar, blood orange juice. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. I'm 